Welcome back to the sweatshop, boys and girls. Today, we're taking you to school. So I had a question come in from my previous video. There was some confusion as to what a drive shaft is or what part of the car it comes from. For us to understand this, we're going to have to put this thing up in the air so we can get a look at what exactly the drive shaft is and what the drivetrain system is to a vehicle and what part it plays. Now that we got this thing up in the air, let's take a look and see what we're looking at. What the hell are we looking at? Well, this here, my friends, is the engine. This produces the power that you need to move your vehicle around from point A to point B. This is your transmission. Essentially, the transmission takes the power from the engine and distributes it to the wheels but it needs a link to do that and the link is your CV shaft or your center drive shaft in this case because this particular vehicle is a four-wheel drive vehicle now this shaft continues the length of the body and ends up over here this is the end of the shaft towards the back of the vehicle this here is what it connects to, the differential. The differential connects to two pieces called constant velocity shafts or CV joints. These shafts, this one and this one here, connect to your wheel. And that's how you get the power to the road. There you have it, boys and girls. Hopefully this gives you a good understanding of what the drivetrain components do. Oh, wait, we've got a question. Mr. Sweatshop, what does the differential do? I'm glad you asked that question. The differential takes the power and splits it into the two wheels. What it essentially does is allows the two wheels to move at different rates of speed as you go through a corner or a turn. Why that's important is, is because as you go around a corner, the outside wheel will turn faster than the inside wheel. Well, there you have it. Uh, another question. Okay, go ahead. Mr. Sweatshop, what does the transmission do? Oh, Christ. A transmission transmits power in the most efficient way possible. Essentially, it's a controlled application of the power from the engine. As efficiently as possible, depending on what the demands are or the inputs from the driver. Okay, folks, that's the end of the line. I've got to get back to work now so I can keep the uh, lights on in this place. Hopefully this video has helped you out there. I really hope so. Uh, if it hasn't, well, it's a good thing I am not a teacher. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Good luck out there. We will see you in the next one.